Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and today you're joining me for another episode of The Rest of My Life. We're currently stood on a bridge over the Montgomery Canal here. Maysbury, an absolutely beautiful quiet place on the canal down there. It's pretty much a dead end at Maysbury so you don't get much traffic down there. Beautiful stretch of canal. Anyway, the boat's completely in the opposite direction and this has got no relevance to this video so let's go. So we're by the turning to go up to the Frankton Basin just below the locks on the back lane here and well I mean I'm quite sure that none of you out here think that this mindless vandalism is funny and it certainly hasn't been funny every time I've passed it for the last goodness knows how many years with it being left as it is for all to see forever. Right then my friends, if I can be sensible for just a second, and I really do mean just one second, um, what's been going on? Well, it's been a hectic few days really, I haven't been on the boat much, I've been completely absent in fact. Uh, so firstly it was my mum's birthday and then she went away for a few days, so then in turn that meant that I was there uh, in Oswald Street medicating the cat, poor little Pippin, bless her, she's still going strong and soldiering on, as you'll see at some point later in this video. Um, I think next up, uh, so then obviously going in and out of work and stuff like that and meeting up with people in and around Oswald Street. Then there's been house moving going on in other areas that I've been roped into, which is always good fun. Um, anyway, um, let's think. And then in another bizarre twist, I ended up going to see Julie and Clary the Comedian live, which... For anybody who knows Julie and Clary, I'll certainly say it was an experience. It was really hilarious, but whew, I can't, I cannot ever repeat any of the things I heard in that room. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Julie and Clary, then if you do look up his work on YouTube, I'll just say, just brace yourselves, and uh, if you if you start off, start getting offended probably not going to improve from that point. I'll say that much. Um, anyway, yeah, let's take a look at the rest of my life then. Oh, I think that's a pretty good sight to wake up to through the blind on a work day. Ooh, my giddy aunt. And this, my friends, is half seven in the morning on the canal. So, another day, another dollar. I'm um, back on top of the castle bank, the Bailey Head, as it is. Um, just a random thing that people I think wanted to see what was here when I mentioned in a previous video that up on this spot where you can view Oswald Street in the background used to be a castle and all the rest of it. I think that some people may have got the idea that there was a little bit more of a castle here than just a couple of clumps of uh, stone and rock here. So sadly my friends this is all that I've got to show you. I mean you've got the outer walls and stuff but I don't know what age those actually are so uh, I'm gonna stop talking because this has turned into a ramble. <laughs> so as you can see, this area that once upon a time when I was a, a wee laddie was all filled with just bushes and overgrown trees and absolute chaos down here. And it's actually now a proper little play park. And there's a, probably a few less broken bottles and maybe a few less needles hanging around. Although I wouldn't, uh, I certainly wouldn't quote myself on that one. So 10 seconds ago, we were stood in a normal residential street and now here we are, literally somewhere that looks like you're living in Lord of the Rings or something of that nature. Lovely stuff. Right, let's get cracking. Well, here we are from the castle bank in the centre of Oswald Street to something even older. In fact, it's literally called Old Oswald Street, the good old Iron Age hill fort. One of the things that I've always loved about the hill fort is just the sheer nature of all these up and down random trenches and fortification walls and that that were put in and think this was all dug out thousands of years by hand and I mean when you see an aerial shot of this place it's extraordinary the size and the extent of it it does make you wonder how many people and how long it took to create such an absolute masterpiece that thousands of years later it's still here and I've got to admit I've never tried it but I certainly wouldn't in, uh, enjoy the prospect of running up here with some sort of armour and people attacking me on the defensive. So as you can see we've got plenty of passing cloud overhead but it's breaking a bit more at the moment so we're getting these sharp moments of bright dazzling sunlight and what a perfect thing to be stood next to. Now forgive me I can't remember what this is called off the top of my head but 
over the summer months and at the right time when the seed pods are popping you can literally and i'm sure i've had footage of it in the past be stood here and you can literally just hear like pop 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 like a bowl of rice krispies going off as all of the pods are popping and seeds are going to goodness knows where break from your regular boating content and a shock twist I'm here at KFC in Oswald Street eating a lot of chips that's all I've got <laughs> what a grand chap We're on our way back from Julie and Clary and I've got to say it was absolutely fantastic but I'm afraid I can never ever repeat any of the jokes or anything that I heard in that room. Um, any thoughts, Andy? Oh, I can care. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> How very exciting. <laughs> The world's waiting to see you. Well, I tried to get her to make a, a grand appearance, but sadly, she's otherwise engaged. This is another one of those moments, my friends, out here in the absolute middle of nowhere, a good few miles away from even Ellesmere, which is only a small place to begin with. See the sun just behind the trees when I started this cliff. Pan around, a uh, classic gateway into just a great big open field of grass. Once again, we've got a little uh, private plane that might be doing some stunts at some point, just flying around out here. And panning the camera around. Oh, we've actually got a car coming down the road. See, we've got a big old windmill, generator, turbine, whatever you want to call it. I think that's the one at Tetchel. If, if I'm heading in the correct direction, that will be at Tetchel. <laughs> But yeah, just a beautiful place to be. Well, my friends, even stood over a not inconsiderable engine. Gotta say that if the weather is like this, it's difficult not to feel, to a certain extent, quite calm and sedate and serene. And once the engine switched off, uh, obviously even more so. But seriously, how fantastic is this? Okay, so I decided to actually come down the Maysbury stretch of canal as an extension to my bike ride back from the boat into Oswestry. Admittedly, it's adding a little bit more uh, time and a few more miles onto the trip, and that cat does need feeding. Um, but again, as I say so often, what an extraordinary place this is. This is, um, what's the number lock? This is Acton Lock, Acton, Aston Lock number two here. So the middle lock uh, coming down from Queen's Head. Sorry, I've totally, uh, totally forgot where I am and my lines because I just wanted to also say here, thank you very much, Joe and Rachel from Dundee. Um, greatly appreciated. Uh, anyway, let's carry on. So we're just doing a little bit of a fence hop in here. As you can see though, with the Montgomery Canal, it is, as I say, more of exactly what you would expect from seeing my videos up on the Langoffley that we are just talking about countryside big jump oh, as far as the eye can see my friends how fantastic you can tell that uh, winter's on its way out as it's well into the evening now and the sun's still up there got a boat coming down towards us and then as I say panning the camera back around in this direction Looks pretty good to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this random meander through life in general and I hope that you'll join me again soon for a little bit more. Anyway, until the next time my dear friends, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it interesting, keep it boat worthy, keep it rest of your life worthy 
Um, and check all of the links in the description to find me on Twitter and Facebook and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, there's millions of links in the video description. Until the next time, have a beautiful, fantastic, wonderful day. And of course, my friends, farewell.